just a little bit. Simply put, where does this stand? Because earlier this month, a former FBI informant was charged with, quote, making a false statement and, quote, creating a false and fictitious record, allegedly about claims regarding President Joe Biden and his family's business dealings. What's your reaction to all of this? Well, it's very damaging uh, to the impeachment probe, but it's not nearly as damaging as the Democrats say it is. First of all, uh, the problems with uh, this uh, with this human informant, FBI human informant, uh, showed up at the FBI several years ago and were not communicated to anybody. The FBI was still saying this guy's reliable. So where's the problem there? It's a problem at the FBI. But uh, but there's a lot more evidence about uh Biden and Biden family corruption. Of course, we'll know a lot more when we hear what, uh, what if anything, Hunter Biden said uh, in testimony today or whether he took the fit. But I, I think you mentioned the word performative earlier. There's no way that President Biden uh, will be impeached uh, or if he is impeached, it'll be by a single vote or something in the House and then he won't be convicted in the the Senate. And the same is already true with Mayorkas. These are performative, but the performance is meant, I don't want to rule out performances. We all buy tickets to see performances. Uh, the, the point about the performance is to highlight the salience, the importance of a certain kind of issue. The, uh, the Mayorkas issue is really to get Democrats in the House and the Senate to vote in favor of a guy who has been responsible for all this bad action. And the in the Biden case, uh, by moving to impeachment, they have a right to uh, a stronger uh, right to hear from Hunter Biden, James Biden, the president's brother, and others, and to get information out of the FBI and the DOJ that otherwise those agencies wouldn't give. I want to say one more thing, uh, if, if you don't mind, uh, that's uh, in Biden's favor. And that is, it takes a while for the public uh, to pick up on economic upticks, uh, the uptick in the economy. Uh, some say as much as six months lag between actual economic performance and the uptick. We all know that Biden is suffering badly from the inflation that occurred on his watch. And I think he's making a mistake to attack corporations for what he calls shrinkflation, a smaller, you know, you pay the same uh, amount for a package of potato chips, but it's got fewer potato chips in it. But that just raises the issue of inflation. But I think Biden will benefit from the strong employment uh, in the economy and everybody's been predicting a recession and as long as it hasn't come assuming it doesn't come between now and uh, and the uh, election biden will really benefit from that and it's important to underscore that positive element uh which i think uh has been maybe underplayed uh by uh, uh election analysts I do want to read a uh, part of a statement that Hunter Biden, the president's son, did release before testifying before the House Oversight and Judiciary Committees. He wrote this, quote, you have trafficked in innuendo, distortion and sensationalism, all the while ignoring the clear and convincing evidence staring you in the face. You do not have the evidence to support the baseless and MAGA motivated conspiracies about my father because there isn't there isn't any. So to your point about performance, obviously an impeachment inquiry is a enormous deal. Obviously trying to impeach the DHS secretary is historic. Do you think any of what you've described as these performances will have an impact in the general election? I think that uh, Biden has already been damaged by the fact that he appears to be the centerpiece of how his family got rich. And I think that what the Republicans, the Republicans do not have a, quote, smoking gun. But I think what they can show is that uh, not only was his family's only asset 
his position in public life, but also that he, after each payment to various family members, he made calls to those people, sometimes before, sometimes afterwards. He's connected with a lot of those. And that money didn't come from Belgium and France and Germany. It came from uh, these very corrupt countries, many of which Vice President Joe Biden had been put in charge of the foreign policy of the United States by President Obama. So it was, uh, and, uh, and that can't just be excluded because uh, Smirnoff, the, the uh, one uh, person who's now been indicted uh, for false testimony, his, it, it does damage the Republican case, but that's not the only uh, evidence that the Republicans have. And I might say that the Republicans make an interesting point. What about all that false evidence given by Christopher Steele? Why wasn't he indicted? W what about all the, the Russian hoax? Why weren't any of those people indicted? What about uh, Vi uh, Vice President Biden saying that all the Hunter laptop thing was Russian disinformation. Nobody paid a price for that either. So I think uh, that there's, uh, the fact is, this is going to be a heavily negative campaign, Brittany. I think that the argument will be, uh, except uh, Trump's base will hear the argument, he's great, vote for him. Uh, some of the Democrats will uh, are saying that about Biden. I hear them say it to me. Uh, he's great. He's he's been very effective uh, as a president. But I think most voters will be given the following message: Don't vote for the other guy. He's terrible. And that will be the main message of the campaign. It will be a negative campaign with a lot of mudslinging. On that happy note. 